Hey guys, I'm back with part 2 for this tutorial on how to build this suburban house. Here in this one, we should have time to finish the rest of the main exterior of the house itself. Be sure to still have all the same blocks that we gathered up in the previous video. I'm going to start out with the pillar quartz. I'll head on over here at the front side of the house, here to this corner. So right on top of this pillar, I'm going to be sure to bring it up by another 8. Now, let's switch to the white concrete. We'll go to the left of this pillar, all the way here at the top. I'll bring it over by 6. I'll go down below that, add an extra layer. And then just right up against this pillar, I'll have a strip of the white concrete going up. And we'll just bring it all the way down to the brick. Now you can switch to the gray concrete, and we're going to start marking out a window. So just right here, up against all the white concrete, we'll bring down 4 blocks of grey concrete. Now let's switch to the smooth quartz stairs, we'll place these upside down. And then back to the grey concrete, bring it down by 4. And then back to the white concrete, we'll bring down 4 here. And then we'll go below, and fill in the remaining 2 layers here. All the way to the edge of where we left off this white concrete. And now we have a window lined up with the first floor. We'll be sure to go ahead and fill it in with the white stained glass panes since we're here. Now back to the pillar quartz block. I'll go here at the bottom on the same layer as the brick. I'll just place a temporary one. And then I'll bring up another 8 on top of that. So you can see how it's just one block further out than the edge of this wall. And I'll go ahead and delete this. And now we're going to have the same window design that we did over here. So just right up against this pillar, we'll add a layer of white concrete. And then here at the top, we'll bring it out by another 5 going across. Below that, add an extra layer. And then just the same window that we did right there, we'll start off here. Fill the rest of it in at the bottom with white concrete. And line it up to the edge of that top layer. Fill all of this in. And then we'll have the white stained glass panes. So we have that second part right there, just one block further out than the edge of that wall. Now we're going to have one more section jutting out over here at the left. It'll just be a little bit wider. So, switch back to the pillar quartz block. Once again, we'll just go down here at the same layer as this top block where the brick is. We'll add a block here, and then another one. So right here on this layer, we'll bring up another pillar of 8. And then we'll delete these two down here at the bottom. So once again, it is now just one block further out than the edge of this section. Now, let's go at the top. With the white concrete, we'll bring it over towards the left by 7. Below that, we'll add an extra layer. Up against the pillar, we'll add a layer. And then we're going to have a bigger window right here, so you can switch to the grey concrete. We'll have four over here. We'll have three upside down smooth quartz stairs. Another four here. And then switch back to the white concrete, we'll fill in the two layers down here at the bottom. And then the extra strip going up here at the left. Fill this in with the white stained glass panes. And then we're going to finish off this side with another pillar quartz block. So you could just go right on top of this wall here where this white concrete is. And just bring this all the way up to the same height as the other walls. So it is like this. We got three pieces here for the second floor. It all just kind of goes out by one more block each time. Let's start working our way along the sides now. I'll head on over here towards the right. And I'm actually going to go here towards the back side of the house, to this corner. And I'm going to bring up another 8.
And now in between this pillar and that pillar, we're just going to go straight across and fill this entire wall in with white concrete. So I'll just go all the way down here at the bottom. So just right above where the first floor wall is, we'll bring this straight across into that pillar. And now just continue working your way up until you meet up at the same height as these pillars. So we now just have a solid wall of white concrete. Now we'll be doing the same thing on the other side. It'll just be another solid wall of white concrete. What we want to be sure to do is line up where this wall ends. So we'll go right on top of this and just follow along until you're over here. And this is where we're going to be bringing up another pillar of eight. So you can now see how this pillar is lined up where that corner is. And it is also lined up where that corner is. Now we'll go in between this pillar and that one and completely fill this entire side in with white concrete. So you can just go right here down on this layer, bring it straight across and work your way up. So now we have both of the sides completely filled in with white concrete. We'll be looking at the back side now. We'll head on over here towards the left up against this pillar. And we'll have a layer of white concrete going from the bottom all the way up to the top. And now continue here at the top. And we're going to be adding two layers of white concrete. We'll just bring it out by an additional five. And now right below this, we're going to have the same window design that we did right there. So they're actually going to be lined up. So it's like this. Now, we'll be sure to fill this in with the six glass panes. And now the rest of this wall is going to be filled in with white concrete. So you can switch back to that. We'll go down here at the bottom and just bring this straight across. And now just work your way up and fill all the rest of this in. Make sure not to forget about those little spaces around the window. So now we have all the walls marked out here for the second floor at the middle part of the house. So I'll actually work my way back up to the front. And what we'll do is start doing the roof for all the lower parts of the house. So we have the front porch roof. We have that lower section. And then we have above the garage. And then that back portion that juts out there at the back side of the house. So we'll start somewhere up here at the front. How about we do this portion over here? This is pretty easy. So the roof over here is just at an angle. It goes straight up into the side of the house. So you can start with the smooth quartz stairs. We're going to be here at the top layer of these walls. We're going to be placing these upside down. We'll bring it all the way to the edge of the wall here. And then we'll fill this corner in with a smooth quartz slab. Switch back to the smooth quartz stairs. Continue bringing this across towards the back. Fill this corner in with another slab. And then back to the stairs. And this is going to work its way into the side of the house. And now we'll start shaping out the angle. Working our way up. So we'll go down here. Right here at the corner. So we'll place a stair on its side like that facing up. And then behind that on the same layer will be an upside down one facing straight on like that. On top of that will be another one facing up on its side. And then we'll just go back and forth with one upside down on the side. And then facing up and upside down. Just keep doing this back and forth until you meet up with the wall. So we have one more right here, which will be right up against the wall. And then one more facing up like that. So just at an angle. We'll go at the back and we'll do the same thing. So start here at the corner, have that facing up and then upside down facing straight on. 
and is then just up and upside down back and forth. In between all of those smooth quartz stairs, you can switch to the dark oak stairs. And we're just going to fill in all the roof. So we'll start down here at the first layer. And all you have to do is just bring it from one side to the other, like that. And we're just going to work our way up and fill it all in. So it's now all filled in there at the top. Next, we have to fill in these triangle shapes right here, underneath. So you can switch to the smooth quartz blocks. Here at the first layer, we're just going to add a strip going straight across. Right there along the bottom. We'll go at the back and we'll do the same thing. And now on top of that, we'll fill the rest of it in with a light gray concrete. Go to the front, do the same thing. And now one final touch. You could grab the dark oak trap doors. I'll just swap out the light gray concrete for now. And right on top of where we have these upside down stairs, I'm just going to add these trap doors. Just as a nice little strip of wood. We'll go to the back and do the same thing. And there we go. So that's going to be it here for the roof for this little part of the house. Now we're going to be using the smooth quartz slabs and the stairs. And we'll start marking out the overhang for the front porch. And then we'll go into the overhang for the garage area. So I'll head on over here to the right. And we're going to connect into the little overhang here for this part of the house. So you can switch to the smooth quartz stairs. And it's just going to be starting right here. You can see how it curves into it. We'll bring this over until we're at the edge of this pillar. The corner will be filled in with a smooth quartz slab. And then you can switch back to the stairs and we're going to be placing these upside down all the way into the side of that wall. So now it is right there up against that wall. Right here, we'll place another one so it curves into it. Now you can see we're right at the edge. We'll fill in at this corner with another slab. And then back to the stairs until you meet up with the edge of the wall over here in this corner. So another slab. And then stairs working your way towards the back. Have another slab right here. And then we're going to place two stairs like this. And then the third one will be kind of curving into the pillar right here where this wall juts out. That way we could add another smooth quartz slab with no issues. We don't want it to be looking like that. I think that looks a little bit weird. We still want to make sure it has that little curve to it. And now we'll add another set of stairs going across here. And then before we do the slab, let's go ahead and do the stair up against the pillar like that. And then another one here. So you can see how this one curves out again. Then we'll go ahead and fill that corner in with a slab. So it all just has a nice smooth look to it. We have the overhang marked out for the garage and for the front porch. So now let's start bringing up the actual roof above the garage first. So the shape to the roof above the garage is a little bit different than anything else I've done for my builds. Instead of just having a regular triangle point, I actually flattened out across the top. I thought it was a nice little feature, something a little bit different. So we'll start here at the corner. And it's going to be pretty much the same thing that we did going up along the side there. We're going to be sure to go up by five layers. So this will be layer one. And then we'll have another upside down stair like that behind it on that same layer. And then this will be layer two. And then just upside down again. And then layer three. This is layer four and layer five and we'll just leave it at that we'll go over to this side to this corner we'll do the same thing
You can see how we just have this space right down the middle. So we'll have another upside down stair behind that top one. And then what we'll do is just bring it straight across just like that. So they're all still upside down and it just adds this little shape. Let's go to the back side where this part of the house or where this part of the wall juts out. We're going to have a regular triangle point. So it's not going to have that flat top. So we'll go ahead and just start here in the corner. And it's just the same thing we've done. So we have just the stair facing in that direction. And the middle point is going to be lined up where this window is. So we'll bring up this left side and sort of lined up where the gray concrete is. So now just back and forth with it facing up and upside down. And we're going to stop it right here. So now we're lined up where this gray concrete is. Now let's go to this corner and do the same thing we just did there. And now we're just left with one space down the middle. So it'll be upside down with a slab to top it off. Let's fill in the space behind all those stairs. So let's switch to the smooth quartz block. And I'll just go from the inside. And you can pretty much just fill in where you see any remaining open space. So we'll start with the smooth quartz blocks. Just add a strip right here. So it's actually just five blocks. Then the rest of this space will be is the light gray concrete, so let me be sure to grab that. I'll just swap out the white stained glass panes. So on top of that smooth quartz, we'll have a strip of the light gray concrete. So it'll just be five right there. And then you can see we're going to need another three here. And then on top of the overhang, we'll have the strip of the dark oak trap doors. Let's go to the front and we'll do the same thing. So we'll switch to the smooth quartz block. We'll have the strip going straight across here down at the bottom. On top of that, we'll have a layer of light gray concrete. Then we'll be sure to go in one block on each side, have another strip of light gray, and another strip here. So now from the outside, it looks like it's all filled in. It's just a nice solid wall. Here at the bottom, we'll have a strip of the dark oak trapdoors again. Now we're going to have one more triangle point here at the side. So it's going to be a little bit different. So we have the smooth quartz stair. We'll start up here at the front. And we're actually going to be starting the shape on the fourth block. So this will be block number one. Work your way back. This is two. This is three. And this is four. So we want to make sure to have a stair starting right here. And then from here, it'll just be like a regular roof. And we're going to be bringing it up by eight layers going in this direction. And then we'll go from that corner and bring that side up by eight. So this is layer number one. So just the same design again. And then just back and forth with it facing up and upside down. And that is three layers. So we have to do another five. So now this side is brought up by 8. We'll go here to this corner and we'll bring this side up by 8 as well. So now you can see we're just left with one space right down the middle. So that's going to be an upside down stair topped off with a slab. And now we'll go from the inside and fill it in the same way that we've done it everywhere else. And then don't forget about the strip of the dark oak trap doors. And we're going to have a little window design for this shape. So it could go here down the middle at the top. We'll leave a block, then go on the next layer. We'll work our way down by three, just carve that out. Have a smooth quartz stair facing up and upside down. And a single space down the middle will be a white stained glass pane. So now the side is all filled in. Now let's start filling in the roof itself. So for the roof, we're going to be using the dark oak wood stairs and slabs. So let's be sure to grab those, have them right next to each other. 
And now all we really have to do is just follow along in between all of the smooth quartz stairs. So I'll start over here at the bottom and we could just connect this together. So just three like that, curves into that and it's into there. Let's go up in the next layer, do the same thing. So we'll bring this over and then turn it into that stair. So now we're just going to continue working our way up on every layer. So all of this is filled in. We won't worry about the top section right now where the flat piece is. We'll go to this side now and just fill all this in. So just where this layer is, we'll go ahead and bring this straight across into this wall. Go up in the next layer and do the same thing. And then on this next layer, we're going to bring it one block past of the wall. And it's actually just going to curve right into it right there. Next layer, we'll do the same thing, just one block further this time. Curve it into the wall there, and then we have one more on this side. So we have both of those corners, just like that. Let's go to the back side, and we'll connect all of this together right here. And we'll bring this up till right here for now. So we're just left with that slab. We'll go to this corner over here and do the same thing. So it is now like that, just going right into the wall. So you can see we're just left with this single space down the middle. We'll be sure to fill it in now. So it's just going to be a dark oak wood slab. We'll bring it until we're at the same edge as the rest of the roof, just like that. And now, we'll continue working our way up for the taller point right here. And all we're going to do is bring it straight across from one side to the other, just right into that wall. So we just brought it up like that. And then we have the slab here at the top, we'll just bring that straight across as well. And we'll stop it right here at the edge of the wall, just right where we left off with the rest of the stairs. So we have the backside all filled in. Now let's go to the front where it's going to be a little bit different because of this spot. So what we're going to do is grab the dark oak wood stairs. And we'll just go right on top of all of these upside down stairs here at the top. We'll bring a layer straight across and then we'll go ahead and just follow right along the edge of the previous layer of the dark oak stairs. So just follow right along this and then wrap it around here and bring it into the court stairs. So we'll do the same on this side and we'll bring it up against into that wall. We'll go up on the next layer and we'll do the same thing. So I'll actually just start over here. And now you can see we are left with just the single space right down the middle. So on this layer we're going to have a set of dark oak wood slabs. What I'll do first is actually add this final strip of the dark oak stairs going straight across right here. And now we could place up against the bottom of this stair to make it easier to place the rest of these slabs. So now we have this side of the house all done, all filled in. Now let's start doing the roof here for the front porch. Let's start with the smooth quartz slabs. We're going to have a small triangle right here in the middle, right above where the entrance to the house is. So we'll line up where the single space is here. We'll have a slab, go over to this side, have a slab, and then right next to that, we'll have two slabs stacked up so it forms a full block. Just one block, or like half a block higher than that previous level. Do the same here. 
And it's then just at the top half of this block. And then another one on top of that. We'll bring this over so it's three across. So now we just have this small little shape here. We'll go on to the inside. We'll grab the light gray concrete. And I'll just swap out the white stained glass pane again. And we'll add a little strip of three here. Just to fill in this little portion here. And now let's switch to the dark oak slab. Right here on this layer, right behind it. We'll have a slab like that. Go on to this side, do the same thing. And now on the next layer, we're going to just bring this all the way back into the wall. Like that. We'll do the same over here. And now for the space of three, we'll be doing the same thing just right into the wall. Now let's fill in this left side. So we'll be right on top of the overhang here for the roof. We'll bring a strip going straight across, right into the stairs here for this part of the roof. And then right behind that, on that same layer, we're going to add another strip of the spruce. Or of the dark oak, my bad. Just like that into where we left that single block. Now we're going to go up on the next layer. What we want to be sure to do is delete these two stairs here for the roof. And then I'll just start on this layer here. And it's going to be another two spaces. Right up against the wall as well. We'll bring this straight across. And it's going to end up right here at the bottom part of these stairs so it all just gets filled in and looks nice so we have this side all done we'll head on over here and do the same thing so we have this first layer here right on top of the overhang we'll just wrap this around and we'll bring it into over there so you can see we actually are going to have to delete this trap door and we'll replace it with these slabs now right behind that on the same layer we'll just add another strip and now we're going to go up half a space and just fill all of the rest of the space in and there we go we have the roof all done here for the front porch let's go underneath grab the smooth quartz blocks we'll be here at the same layer as these quartz stairs for the overhang now we're just going to fill all of this in with the smooth quartz blocks. Now, since we're here, we might as well do the light in the ceiling as well. So you could grab the sea lantern and the iron trap door. And what I'll do is just go maybe lined up where this pillar is. And we'll add a sea lantern right here. So we'll just carve out a hole, fill that in. Have another one right here. Then just cover that up with the iron trap door. And then I'll line up with that and I'll maybe have another one right around here. And then go to this side and have another one. Maybe, maybe right here I think will be good. Something like that. I think that is enough light for the front porch. So there we go. We're going to leave it at that here for the front side for now. We'll head on to the back. And we'll do the roof right here for this part of the house. And then I'm thinking what I'm going to do is leave the roof for the second floor for part three. We'll also be sure to do all of the landscaping for part three. So let's go ahead and do the roof here for this lower section. So we'll start with the smooth quartz stairs and the slabs again. And I'll be over here on this side, just here at the top layer. And we'll start with the overhang, so we'll place all of these upside down. Bring it to the edge, have a slab in the corner. Bring this across to the edge, have another slab in the corner. And then bring this along over until we're lined up with the pillar right here. And now, we'll go ahead and start shaping out the shape over here at the edge and it's going to be another one where the top is flattened off so we're going to start here at the corner just the same way we've done it everywhere else and we're going to bring up each side by four 
So this side is actually already done. Just four like that. We'll go over here and do the same thing. And then we'll go ahead and have another upside down stair on each side at that layer. We'll curve all these together. And now it is a total of five right here. Just right here. Uh, let's go ahead and fill in this little space here. So we have the strip of the smooth quartz block. And then the rest of it will be the light gray concrete. And now we'll switch to the dark oak stairs. We'll start filling in all the sides just right along the stairs going up along the edge. So we'll start down here at the bottom, bring it over, just straight across from one side to the other. We'll go on the other side and do the same thing. Right here at the top. We'll fill this in going across with five and then we'll bring it into the wall. Go up on the next layer and do the same thing. So all we're going to do is just wrap it around. And then you can see we're left off with a dark oak slab here at the top. And then don't forget about the dark oak trap doors right here on top of the overhang. And there we go. Now we have the roof here for the backside of the house. And like I said, I think what I'm going to do is leave it at that here for part two. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that here for part two for this tutorial on how to build this suburban house. If it helped you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part three.